When dealing with pests on a landscape, we often turn towards some sort of pesticide application uh, to deal with our problems. However, uh, we normally forget about the problem of dealing with the leftover application materials uh, once we're through with that initial application. Uh, <clears throat> a lot of times these application materials are some, tor some sort of toxic material that we need to dispose of properly, and the best way to dispose of that is to make sure that we don't have any to begin with. Uh, so making sure that you calculate the area out, make sure that you're only buying the amount of product that you need for your initial application is the best step that we can take to make sure that we're using those pesticides properly. If you do end up with some sort of a extra pesticide, turning towards maybe some neighbors to get rid of that is probably the best step that you can take. Uh, if you do need to store it, we always recommend uh, storing those pesticides in their original container so there's no confusion um, as to what exactly that is and making sure you're storing those in a secure area where pets and children can't get to it also into a dry area in an area that's going to be somewhat uh, moderate in temperature anytime that we have extreme heat or freezing temperatures that's going to break down that pesticide faster and it's going to reduce its effectiveness especially if we're talking about using that into the next season uh, some of you might have some pesticides in your home shed or uh, in the garage that have been there for a few years. After a few years, pesticides usually break down to the point that they're not going to be effective and give us the control that we want anymore. Uh, we can dispose of those pesticides in a number of different ways. One of those is to go ahead and apply those according to the label, uh, making sure that you're not exceeding the recommended late rate on the label. Uh, is one way of doing that. You might not get the best control, but you're going to get rid of that pesticide product uh, in a safe manner. Um, the state of Nebraska does not have any uh, programs to dispose of toxic uh, pesticide wastes that are statewide as of right now. However, if you're fortunate enough to live in Omaha, Lincoln, or Grand Island, uh, those communities do have programs that allow you to uh, bring in uh, household waste products and they will accept most pesticide products. If you need more information on where to dispose of those pesticides at, you can visit our website at pested.unl.edu slash disposal. If you have a lot of uh, product that you need to get rid of, there are s number of companies across uh, the state of Nebraska that will accept uh, some of those toxic residues and will dispose of them, but they usually come at some sort of fee cost. You can find more information about those at our website as well. And always remember when you are uh, working with any of these chemical products that your own personal safety is important, even if you're just cleaning out products or disposing of them, so make sure that you're wearing the proper protective equipment.